my young friends. How are you today? Well, you might say, Miss Terry, who's that with you? This is my little bear friend. This is Brother Bear. And the story today that I'm going to read to you is about a bear family. You might say, Miss Terry, how has that got anything to do with Jesus? Well, this weekend is Thanksgiving, and we have lots to be thankful for. So I found this beautiful story about a bear family and Thanksgiving blessings. And it's called, that is what it's called, Thanksgiving blessings. And it's by a man called Mike Berenstain. And it's a beautiful little story. So I thought I'd share it with you. And my little friend, Brother Bear, is going to keep us company today. So, here we go. It was autumn in bear country, and Thanksgiving Day was here. But an early snowstorm was making things look more like Christmas instead of the Thanksgiving. Instead of bright fall colors, the leaves of the bear family's treehouse were covered with new fallen snow. The bears were going to Grizzly Gramps and Grands for Thanksgiving dinner. It would take more than a snowstorm, early or otherwise, to keep them away from Gran's wonderful cooking. Papa decided to borrow Farmer Ben's horse and sleigh to make the trip. They would travel in style through the snowy countryside. As they set off, the bears crossed a little bridge over a stream. It's just like the old song, said Sister. Over the river and through the woods to Grandma's house we go. The horse knows the way to carry the sleigh through white and drifted snow. I can't wait for Thanksgiving dinner, said brother. Me neither, said sister. Neither, yelled honey. I have to agree with you, said Papa, smacking his lips. Think of all of Gran's delicious Thanksgiving dishes. Roast turkey with chestnut stuffing, gravy and cranberry sauce, added brother. Sweet potatoes and mashed potatoes, sighed sister. Apple pie and pumpkin pie, went on mama. Pie, yelled honey. Oh, look at all that wonderful dishes grandma is going to be cooking. Oh, they're all hungry. Of course, said mama. There's more to Thanksgiving Day than just eating lots of yummy food. Yes, indeed, said papa. It's time for giving thanks and thinking of all our blessings. Isn't that right, brother? Like the blessing of food, asked sister. Well, said Papa, there are many other blessings to remember. For instance, the blessings of faith and freedom. What do you mean, asked brother? Well, we should remember those first pilgrim bears who came to bear country long ago, explained Papa. They were seeking a land where they could worship God in freedom. At first, life was very hard in the new land, but the native bears who already lived there gave them food and shared in a great feast that was the first Thanksgiving. Those pilgrims gave us the freedom to have faith and worship God in whatever way we think is right. After a time, Many others traveled here to find freedom. They farmed the land, made it bloom. It was rich and a fruitful place. Then enemies came from across the sea and tried to take it all away. There was war and suffering, but peace came at last and the land was safe. We should be all thankful for the blessings of peace and plenty too. Peace and plenty. We have been blessed, haven't we? With peace and plenty, the country grew. Roads, cities, bridges, and workshops were built. Boats sailed the rivers as wagons and trains crossed the land. There was work to be done, and when that work was finished, there was time for play. There were fairs and shows and dances and games, singing and music. There are blessings of work and play. Now our whole bear family lives here in this blessed land. We are safe in our snug country. We can celebrate Thanksgiving with Gramps and Gran. We have good neighbors to depend on, like Farmer and Mrs. Ben. 
and those are the most wonderful blessings of all, the blessings of family and friends. Wow, said Brother as the sleigh came out of the woods. I never realized we had so much to be thankful for. Yes, said Sister, and we can also be thankful that we're finally getting close to Grizzly Gramps and Gran's house. The whole family sang, over the river and through the woods, now grandmother's calf I spy. Hurrah for the fun, is the pudding done? Hurrah for the pumpkin pie. Pie, yelled honey. But Graham, Gran doesn't have a cap, said sister. She has a scar. Well, I spy it anyway, through the kitchen window, said brother. As the sleigh pulled up, Gramps came out to greet them. Hello there, young'uns, he said, squeezing the cubs in a bear hug. Are you ready for our great Thanksgiving feast? Yes, Gramps, said sister. But you know, we should all think about all our Thanksgiving blessings. I always do, said Gramps, leading them inside into the kitchen. And the Thanksgiving blessing I think about most is Grizzly Gran herself, the best cook in their country. Now, Gramps, scolded Gran, stop your nonsense and help get the food on. The whole family helped set the table. It was indeed a magnificent Thanksgiving feast. It's a shame there aren't any native bears here to share it with us, said Brother. Never fear, said Gramps seating himself at the head of the table. My great-great-grandmother was one quarter native bear, and I am ready to share. Let's eat. Aren't you forgetting something, Gramps? reminded Gran. Of course, said Gramps. They all joined hands and bowed their heads. Thank you, Lord, for all your thanksgiving blessings, prayed Gramps. Thank you for the blessings of faith and freedom of peace and plenty, of work and play, and of family and friends. And he added, thank you for our wonderful Thanksgiving feast. Amen. Amen, said all the bears. And now, said Gramps, picking up his knife and fork, let's eat. Oh, that's a wonderful story. You know, in Canada, we wouldn't have had the pilgrims, but we had all the rest. We have faith and freedom to practice our faith. We have family and friends. We have nice schools to go to. We have nice churches that we can come to to pray. We are very blessed here in Canada. And we need to thank God for his many blessings. Isn't that right, little brother bear? Yes, that is right. So maybe this weekend you can find something very special in your heart to say thank you to God for. So let's pray. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear God, thank you for all your blessings. You have given us in Canada so many great things. Well, for me, you have given me a family. You have given me a parish. You have given me a place to come and pray. You have given us many other blessings. And each one of us here has something special to thank you for in our hearts. So we thank you, Father, for everything you have given us and done for us. And we ask you to Take care of this COVID virus so that we can all be together again instead of having to be apart. Thank you, Father, and in Jesus' name, amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Well, until next time, boys and girls, love and prayers and hugs. Miss Terry, happy Thanksgiving to everybody.